next is uh, screening shortlisting of resume. How you can screen shortlisting of resume? So in this um, recruitment process, you have five steps. First step is you have to plan your recruitment. Second step is you have to make a strategy. Strategy means uh, how you are going to recruit, rec how you are going to hire a candidate for your organization. The third one is screening. The third one is screening. Fourth one is selecting. And the fifth one is evaluating and control. So fifth one, uh, third one is screening. You have to screen the profile. So you will be getting n number of profiles in the market. So from that profiles, you have to screen what are all the uh, candidates you need, who are all the candidates you need, uh, which skilled candidates you need. So that is the screening. Next is selecting. From that screened profile, you have to select the profiles. Select the profiles, you have to call the pro, uh, candidates for face-to-face -face interview. So once the uh, candidate is selected for, uh, once the candidate is selected, then the final step is evaluating and control. How you are going to make the employee join in your organization that is giving offer and uh, proceeding with joining community so that is the evaluating and control so in this recruitment five process five uh, uh, steps is there the process of recruitment five steps is there the uh, the fourth step in mean, the third one is screening and shortlisting screening and selecting selecting in other word you can term it as shortlisting Next, first, how you can screen the profile? Based on the work experience, education, soft skills, technical skills, personality trait, you can sell, uh, screen the profile. Based on these five methods, you can, based on this, based on the five factors, you can select the profiles or you can screen the profiles. Work experience, how you can uh, screen the profile through work experience? So you have to check the work experience of the candidate. Say, for example, if you are, uh, if you want to hire a manager, payroll manager, so you have to check with your head of the department or uh, head of the department of HR. You have to check with the, the um, uh, immediate boss on how many years of experience you need to hire a candidate. Whether uh, the candidate should have 12 years of experience, 13 or 15. So based on the year of experience, you will be screening the profile. Next is education. Some organization, if you are going to hire a candidate who is professionally, uh, who, who is having a professional experience, means you will be neglecting some some factors that is um, you will be for experienced candidate you will look only the work experience you will look only the technical skills you will look only the soft skills and you will look only uh, you will look the personality then only the education if the employee completed only bcom the employee is completed only the graduation means uh, well and good, no problem because the, uh, the employee is having nearly 12 years or 30, uh, 12 to 15 years of experience, work experience in a particular domain means education qualification. Some organization they will not concentrate on it because uh, some organization what they will do, uh, uh, some, some candidates they will complete only BA degree or BCom degree, but they will. They, uh, they will work as a HR recruiter or they will work as a, a HR payroll. And in that, they will have 12 and 15 years of experience. They have a number of uh, experience. So organization will look, some organization will look only for the experienced candidates. They will not concentrate on the education background on, of the employee. So uh, if they want, if some organization, they will concentrate on 
education background. That is, they want only MBA candidate. They want only a uh, candidate who has completed graduation in HR. So, so based on that, you have to you have to know what is the need of the particular department or what is the need of the organization. Based on that, only you have to screen the profile and shortlist the profile. Next is resume shortlisting process. First is accuracy check, preferred criteria. Next is person, personalized application or top priority red flags. Next is apl applicant tracking system. What is accuracy check? In accuracy check, you will be checking the background of the employees. How you can check the background of the employees? Some organization, they will have a particular department called background uh, verification department. Some organization, they will depend on uh, the third party, private agency to check the background for the, uh, to check the background of the uh, candidate. How you can check the background of the candidate? You can send either email or any other communication to the previous employer of the candidate. Say for example, I am I am applying to a, a new job. My em employer, my new employer is X Y Z. That X Y Z company they will analyze my profile. So uh, if they find that my previous employer is A B C. Uh, limited means they will send the email to ABC Limited asking for my original uh, date of joining in their organization, asking for my employer number, sorry, employee number in that organization, asking for my uh, num number of years of experience in that particular organization, asking for my designation in ABC uh, organization. So they will send an email like that and they will get the information from APC organization and they will check whether the information provided in my resume and the information provided by APC organization is matches, matching. If the uh, information is not matching means then the background verification is failure. Not a failure for that uh, candidate. So uh, the organization will not uh, select the candidate. If my uh, information is matching means, then they can proceed with the further steps. So this is how you can check the background verification for a candidate. Next is preferred criteria. What is preferred criteria? So in this preferred criteria, uh, minimum requirement, apart from minimum requirement, recruiter can examine. Yeah, in this preferred uh, criteria, the recruiter can select the candidates based on their uh, valuable skills. Say, for example, um, I am going to hire a, a software engineer. I am going to hire a software engineer who should have experience on Python software. Okay, but I have by but uh, I I am selecting a profile who is uh, having experience on Oracle, Pro Oracle software. So the employer will analyze that whether the, whether the employer uh, wants the candidate or not. In future, if they have a need for Oracle software means, they will select the candidate because they will train the candidate uh, in the Python software. So once they select the candidate who is having experience in Oracle, in the near future, if they need any Oracle, if they need any work in Oracle software means they can utilize that candidate. So they can uh, give training to the Python uh, software to that candidate and get utilization of the, of, uh, and get utilization of the Oracle software in which the candidate is already having experience. So that is the preferred criteria. Next is personalized application or top priority. Personalized application on top priority. It means if the candidate personally applies for the organization, then that candidate will, will be given priority. How the uh, candidate can personally apply for the organization, apply for the openings in the organization by sending the cover letter. 
some organize uh, some employee or some candidate what they will do they will personally apply for the openings in the organization say for example i am uh, looking for a hr recruiter if you are a candidate for a hr recruiter means you have to you will be sending a personalized letter uh, that is cover letter to the organization or to uh, to the recruiter that is saying that uh, this is uh, you will address yourself and uh, you are eagerly looking for the uh, hr recruitment position and uh, you you have come to know that uh, my organization is having hr recruitment opening and you are uh, very happy to um, work with the, my organization so like like that you have to sending the personal cover letter to the organization who is having the opening so if you are uh, giving some if you give some personal personalized letter means then the candidate will be given top priority next is red flag red flag means if the candidate profile is not in a is not in a uh, structured format that is uh, it is poor if the candidate's profile is poorly formatted that is um, font size is different or i mean and uh, there is a grammatical mistake in uh, profiles or uh, uh, spelling mistake in the profiles if the recruiter finds that they will red flag the profile because if the candidate is eagerly or actively looking for a job then the candidate will structurally maintain their profile they will professionally maintain their resume if the candidate is not actively or if the candidate is uh, not eagerly uh, interested in looking for a job means then they will format uh, format the profiles like uh, anything so uh, they will red flag the profile and make sure that they will not see the profile in the future next is applicant tracking system applicant tracking system means you will be made it is a one kind of software applicant tracking system is a kind of software so in that software you will be um, you will be uh, what you have to do is you have to once you selected uh, once you shortlist the profile you have to send the profiles to that particular tracking system so uh, once one, uh, you have to send the profiles to the particular tracking system and you have to make the candidate to attend the interview and once the candidate is selected the next level next level second round of interview third round of interview that you can easily follow up the candidates through this applicant tracking system so you can send the profile to this uh, particular software once the um, uh, interview or preliminary round of interview secondary round of interview is done with the candidate you can update the applicant tracking system so that you can easily follow up with the next level for that particular candidate 